Hello and welcome back to another Tech Byte by Uno platform. I'm Watts, a software developer at Uno. And today we'll be taking a look into MVUX. What is MVUX? How does it compare to other design patterns and how we can use it to build a simple counter application? So MVUX stands for Model View Update Extended. And it's designed to simplify application development by combining the best aspects of MVVM and MVU. So what's the difference between MVUX and other design patterns like MVVM? In MVVM, you often end up with a lot of boilerplate code to handle data binding and state changes. MVUX, on the other hand, leverages source generators to handle these tasks and reducing the amount of code you have to write. MVUX also makes asynchronous operations and state management more intuitive by using concepts like iFeed for data streams and iState for state management, which we'll explore more in detail in this video. So let's jump right into building the app. We're going to use the Uno platform solution template found in Visual Studio, this one. And we'll name our app counter and click on create. This leads us to the Uno platform template wizard. This is going to be a very simple single page application. So we'll choose the blank preset with presentation MVUX and markup XAML. And by clicking on create, this creates a single project cross-platform Uno project solution. So now that we have our app ready, let's start by implementing the UI in main page. But before we do that, let's deploy our app for ski and desktop. Now that we have our build ready, we're also gonna enable hot reload by clicking on this button. Uh, one of the most powerful features that Uno platform offers, which lets you see your changes live in time without needing to rebuild the entire project. And we'll also make sure that hot reload on file save is enabled. So let's start by implementing the UI. We'll start with a text box for step size, a text block to display the current count and a button to implement the counter. So first the text box at the top, we'll place this text here. Next, we'll add a text block right here. And finally, a button to increment the counter. While I add these elements on screen, you can see how easily we can lay out the UI using a stack panel and see the changes live in time using how to reload on the right. So let's implement our counter model now. I'm gonna add a new file and call it main model. In MVUX, we work with immutable models. And for this application, we'll define a countable record that holds the entire state of the page. This countable record will contain two fields, the current count and the step size. These two fields represent the state that our app will work with. Immutability is a key principle here, meaning once the state is created, it cannot be directly modified. Instead, we create new instances when the state changes, making our code predictable and easier to debug. Now, moving on to our main model. Main model exposes the state using an iState countable. The state is automatically tracked by MVUX, and any changes to the count or step values will automatically update the UI. Additionally, main model also exposes a public method called increment counter. Well, that will be bound to our button to modify the state by incrementing the count. This design simplifies state management since the entire state of the page is contained within one place, the countable record, making it easy to manage and update. Now let's find our elements in the main page with this new methods. But before we do that, let's get rid of the usings that we are not using. And I'll save the file. Now let's bind this button with the increment counter method that we just created. So each time the button is clicked, it updates the state and increments the counter by the step size entered by the user. And we'll do so by adding this command. And now let's bind our text block and text box too. First for the text block, I'll replace the sample one input that we have here with our binding countable.count. And for the text box, we'll add the text finally. 
This approach is what makes MBUX so powerful. User input is handled through methods like this, where we produce a new state without directly modifying the current state, keeping our models immutable. Now, one final step left is adding the data context. MBUX uses source generators to automatically create the view model layer, which means you don't have to manually write the binding logic. This not only saves time, but also ensures that the binding errors are strongly typed and less prone to errors. So now that we have everything ready, let's save all files and test out the app on the right. As I click this button, notice how smoothly the UI updates without needing any manual intervention. This is the power of MVUX strong data binding and immutable state management, making it easy to build responsive and robust applications. We can also try by increasing the count to 10, and then the counter will be 20, 30, 40, and 50. And there we have it. We have successfully built a simple counter app using MBUX and Uno platform, exploring both the practical and technical aspects of MBUX along the way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.